Hey guys, Technivers here. Today is opposite day because normally I'm telling you how to solve your problems and today I'm hoping you can help me solve mine. So I'm having a little bit of an issue with the TiVo Tarantula Pro. It is taking my bottom six to 10 layers and smashing them down. Um, after that, the model seems to print fine, but I am losing some height and getting some serious elephant, elephant footing down below. Now, it's not a leveling issue, and in just a second, I'll tell you all the things I've done to try to fix this, but let me give you an example of what's going on here. Um, you can see it's got a nice elephant's foot. Kind of hard to do it justice in the webcam here, but you can tell that these bottom layers have just been over-extruded. Now, if I grab my calipers around here somewhere, Uh, and I measure this, it's supposed to be 25 there there. And it is coming out at 23.7. So we're losing a millimeter and a third almost. And it is on every print. So if I print with a raft, it helps a little bit because I'm a little bit higher up when I start my model, but because of that squishing, the parts end up completely fused to the raft and impossible to remove. Now I can just clip this like it's a brim, but then I end up with too much thickness and I'm getting really frustrated with this. So what I have done is I have adjusted my Z-stop and that had no effect. Obviously I re-leveled the bed after that uh, and then I thought maybe it was the Z offset because I did add some height to it with that magnetic mat. So I adjusted the Z offset. A Little bit of an improvement, not entirely gone away, uh, finally, I got frustrated because the mat kept lifting and I thought that maybe it was creating a height variance. Um, so I removed the mat, re-leveled, readjusted the Z offset, all of that, and still no effect. So the last thing that I tried was to, well, I cleaned the lead screw because I thought maybe it was dirty down at the bottom and was just binding up there. Um, and then the last thing I tried was to actually take the lead screw itself remove it and flip it over because I thought that maybe a part of it was bad um, but it seems to look flawless um, the other thing I did do is after I added the belt tensioner I was worried that this side here might be a little loose and that as it rose the weight was pushing down on it so I made sure to tighten these eccentric bolts and or eccentric nuts and the nuts on the outside of the wheel making this a lot stiffer it still runs smooth um, but it doesn't have as much play in it, that didn't help either. So at this point, I'm starting to wonder if I am out of square somewhere, because you can see if I turn the screw by hand that basically from here up, it runs smoothly, but down in the last little bit, it's harder to turn and the gantry doesn't quite want to move as much in there. So basically what's happening is it's telling it to raise up a 0.2 millimeters or whatever my layer height is and it's only raising up a fraction of that and then putting down the same amount of plastic that it's supposed to which is causing it to look over extruded and smashing the model don't know why once it reaches a certain height it seems to fix itself and run without problems um, and that's one of the main reasons I'm starting to wonder if I'm out of square but if you've ran into this problem or you have a fix or any ideas please let me know leave them in the comments down below willing to try pretty much anything because my prints are really really nice other than that bottom layer and it's starting to frustrate me quite a bit so yeah let me know what you think ideas are always welcome and if you know how to fix this problem I would much appreciate it if you drop me a line as always this channel is brought to you by the spine patreon supporters if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.